Hey boys and girls, welcome back to our phonics lesson. It's me, Miss Presley, and I am ready to get started. If you have a pencil or paper, I want you to practice building these words with me. So I'll give you a few moments to go grab a pencil and a paper. Perfect. Okay. We are going to build some words with consonant blends. Look at the first blue tile. What letter is it? A. What sound does it stand for? Ah. That's right. Remember, the letter A stands for the sound ah. Say it with me. Ah. What letter do we have here? B. What sound does it stand for? B. That's right. Remember, the letter B stands for the sound B. Say it with me. B. What letter do we have here? D. What sound does it stand for? D. That's right. The letter D stands for the sound D. Say it with me. D. What letter do we have here? E. What sound does it stand for? E. What letter do we have here? F. What sound does it stand for? The letter F stands for the sound f. Say it with me. F. What letter do we have here? L. What sound does it stand for? Ooh. Remember, the letter L stands for the sound ooh. Say it with me. Ooh. What letter do we have here? N. And what sound does it stand for? N. That's right. The letter N stands for the sound N. Say it with me. N. What letter do we have here? S. What sound does it stand for? S. Let's think of a word that means something you ride in the snow. What is the word? Sled. So let's build the word sled. The first sound is s, the letter S. The next sound is L. So I will put the letter L next to the letter S. The vowel sound is E, eh. so I will put the letter E next to the letter L. The last sound I hear in sled is D, the letter D. What's the word? Sled. Now, let's think of a word that means ran away. So I'm going to change one letter. What's the new word? Fled. Fled means to run away. Now let's think of a word that means showed the way. I'm going to remove one letter. What's the new word? Led. Led means to show the way. Now, let's think of a word that means where you sleep. Let's change one letter. What's the new word? Bed. Bed is where you sleep. Now, this word means to make something not straight. So I'm going to add one letter. 
But before I add a letter, let us move the B and the E over. And we're going to add the letter in between the E and the D. What's the new word? Bend. Bend means to make something not straight. Now let's think of a group of people who play instruments. Let's change one letter. What's the new word? Band. A band is a group of people who play instruments. Nice job building words. Now we are ready to read, can Ben get it? What do you think Ben will invent next? Let's read to find out. All right, let's go ahead and read our story. The title of our story is, Can Ben Get It? by Brian Langdu, illustrated by Teresa Martinez. Read together. As Ben Franklin got older, he continued to invent. One invention was called a book arm. Hmm, what do you think a book arm does? Words to read. Clip, snag, stands, step. Words to know, must, said, when. I am going to read first and then we will go back and read together. After we read together, we'll answer a few questions about our story. Are you ready? Here we go. Can Ben get it? I must get that, Ben said. Ben hops and hops. Ben stands on a step, but he cannot snag it. Ben must not quit. Got it, said Ben. Ben got a rod. Ben fit a clip on the rod. When Ben tips the rod, the clip snags it. Ben did it at last. Nice job following along. So let's go back and read the story together. Here we go. Can Ben get it? I must get that, Ben said. Ben hops and hops. Ben stands on a step, but he cannot snag it. Ben must not quit. Got it, said Ben. Ben got a rod. Ben fit a clip on the rod. When Ben tips the rod, the clip snags it. Ben did it at last. Now let's go back to the beginning of our story and answer a few questions. How does Ben try to get the book first? Ben hops to try to get the book. What does Ben stand on? Ben stands on a step. When Ben says, got it, 
What does he mean? Ben means he has an idea. What did Ben fit on the rod? Ben fit a clip on the rod. How does Ben snag the book? Ben snags the book by tipping the rod. How does Ben feel at the end of the story? Ben feels happy, proud, and excited. How could you describe Ben? So let's flip back through our story. How can we describe Ben? We could say that Ben is creative and he tries hard. Nice job reading, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.